Michelangelo is a party dude, here's your look at the new NECA toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Michelangelo versus the Foot Soldier. After being accidentally exposed to radioactive ooze, four ordinary household pets are transformed into a band of wisecracking, pizza-loving, villain-dicing adolescent reptiles. Meet Leonardo, the super cool, sword-wielding leader, Raphael the jokester, hurling manhole and one-liners in rapid succession, Donatello the brain behind the brawn, and Michelangelo, the ice cream pizza goblin party animal. Whether it's facing fierce enemies or saving humanity from near extinction, with the guidance of their sensei, these heroes in a half shell are always ready for straight out of the sewer action. With no delay and getting this review underway, let's first figure out how tall the turtle stands. That would be Michelangelo. We're going to stop the tape measure to the very top of his head, and the figure stands at 5.3 inches in height, same as the other turtles. I think the other turtles I might have clocked at around 5.4, but on average, they're all the exact same size. They're utilizing the same body mold. So 5.3 inches for Michelangelo, which works in centimeters to be 13.6. 13.6. We're going to reset our clocks back to inches. We're going to measure off to the very top of the foot soldier's head. And we'll stop the tape measure right there. The foot soldier looks to be 6.6 .6 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 16.9 centimeters tall. The figures, both of them actually get a fair number of accessories. We'll start with Michelangelo. He does technically have the most exciting of things. No slouch really is the foot soldier, but I think we're usually have been starting the reviews with the turtle and then whatever the accompanying figure is to the turtles. So we'll start with Michelangelo's accessories. Uh, let's start with where we've, I believe, started with all the other ones. Michelangelo comes included with the opened shell communicator. Now this has varied because Donatello came with an open shelled communicator that was his. And he also came with the closed up communicator. Leonardo came with only the closed up communicator. So between the two, I guess we have now two open communicators, two closed communicators. Drinking game as to how many times this reviewer has said communicators, but again, there's the options that you can display the turtles depending on which way you want to have them. Maybe you may not even use these, but I always appreciate for the fact that NECA does include accessories like this. Didn't really spend a whole lot of time on any uh, of the communicators in the review. There I did say it again. Um, once again, would have liked maybe to mix it up a bit, seeing as we've already gotten uh, the same one already with a previous figure. Maybe if they had put screenshots in there, one of April O'Neil, one of Splinter, that would have been an ideal situation. But again, as you can see, identical to one another. Getting into the territory of stuff that wasn't with the other turtles, uh, Michelangelo comes included with the grapple line. Now we've seen this before, the turtles all had grapple lines in the show. Uh, Raphael, I don't believe, comes with one. I think Michelangelo is the only one that does. Does have the little retractable hooks, being that these are also thin of plastic. You could probably imagine, I'll say this, that you have to be very, very careful that these don't actually break. I don't think they go any bit further out from that. To be honest, I haven't I haven't gambled on pulling them any further for fear that they would break. Again, it's a very just a very thin plastic. I don't want to gamble with that. Uh, embossed on the front is the shell, nothing on the back, but it's, again, the same sort of coloring made famous from the cartoon. And this is a real, fab, uh, real cording, so that's really good as well. You could display it in his hand, and I guess just drape it off if you wanted to. But I mean, really, Michelangelo is known for nunchucks, and luckily, NECA Toys gives you two versions, two ways to display the nunchucks. The defaulted is a pair of nunchucks, and uh, they are they look to be identical to one another. Perhaps maybe the grain work is a little bit different on the handles, but I mean, other than that, they look like they are carbon copies to one another, making use of also real chains, liking that. And you want to get a little creative, though. They also include this. This is a spinning nunchuck, or sort of a disc to simulate the spinning of a nunchuck. It does have posability to it. It's a very thin peg, so you got to be careful of it. Uh, and then if you want to use that with one of the existing nunchucks, you just detach 
there you go, the handle from the top part, the top part of the chain. This part you really don't need. It's this part right here, the other handle. Just plug that into place. Now again, if you're looking at it, this is the, the one handle of the nunchuck, and then this end here is really the other one spinning. And then you can go ahead and take that and put that into Michelangelo's hands. Would have loved if they had given us two of these. I mean, we sadly only get the one, but again, it looks, I mean, you can spin it too, and it looks like it's one of the nunchucks spinning. So that's pretty cool, I have to admit. Easily, easily gonna be probably the way I'm gonna display the figure. Uh, we'll just detach this. And where's the other handle? Where's the other handle? There's the other handle. Let's get everything back in order here. I like to keep everything organized as we're going through and reviewing this stuff. There we go. Uh, the back of the turtle doesn't have the slots for the nunchucks. I think actually in the cartoon, I would have to double check it. I think most of the time he had the nunchucks on the front rather than on the back. If it was on the front, you could conceal them. You could slide them down the opening slot here on either side of his sash. But I don't think he actually sported them on the back. That's a part of my memory that unfortunately had to be made available in order for me to be able to fill it with adult stuff. You know, where we're driving, I have to pay a house bill, for example. Something had to be sacrificed. And uh, my childhood memory that was sacrificed was whether the nunchucks were featured on the front or on the back. I feel like it was on the front, tucked into the front so sections here, because it would just make me make more easier sense that Michelangelo would be pulling them from the front to the, you know, rather than to the back. But most of the toys had them featured on the back. Adult memories, I, you know, something has to go. And just so happened it was my nunchuck knowledge of Michelangelo. He does also come with a series of interchangeable hands. I say a series, it's technically really only one pair of interchangeable hands, and those are thumbs up, A-OK -okay hands. Now, being that these are all the same color, the turtles, that is, are all the exact same color, you can mix and match these. For example, here is Leonardo's hand. This was the high five hand, and this was Michelangelo's hand. Now, they are the exact same color, so if you want to use the high five hand with Michelangelo, there's nothing telling you. Even if your neighbor is yelling from the window next door, you can't use that hand. That hand didn't come with Michelangelo. You can basically just close your window and say, leave me alone. I've already told you once already, I don't care what your opinions are when it comes to Ninja Turtles. And then you can just use this hand. Who cares what the guy next door says? Uh, but he does come just for purpose of doing a checklist of the accessories that come included with the figure. Checklist that you'll be checking off would be the thumbs up, or I guess if you wanted to, thumbs down or undecided. Uh, he does have with thumbs up hands. So that is all the accessories that come included with this party dude. Now let's have a look at the turtle. Now, if we bring in, say, Donatello, we've already had a look at him, and we'll bring in, why not, bring in Leonardo. Oh, I love these toys so much. These are probably my favorite thing that NECA Toys is producing right now. I know, I seems every single time I'm reviewing something new from NECA Toys, it's always like, this is my favorite thing right now that NECA Toys has done. And then the next thing I review, the next thing is, well, that's the hardest part with like stuff from NECA toys. I could say like the God of War Kratos and Atreus set was a prime candidate for best toy of the year so far. Michael Myers, of course, I could also have thrown that in there as well. But really now looking at the turtles and what they're doing with this line, I'm waving my hands a lot frantically in this review. This could be the toy line of the year. And some would also debate it could be also the seven inch movie turtles. I don't still have the seven inch movie turtles and that makes me so sad. But as you can see, each one of these turtles are pretty much utilizing the exact same mold, the exact same colors. The only thing that's different is Michelangelo's, of course, swapped the blue and the purple to his traditional orange. But other than that, all the bodies are exactly the same to one another. Even like the shading, as far as I can see, the shading is a carryover and an exact carbon copy to the one that we had looked at previously in the earlier review. And then the earlier review even still to that, same, same idea, same idea there. So we'll kind of move those out of the way. I sadly have a scuff. Uh, that has since developed on Leo's head. I don't know if it's something has rubbed against it, but it looks like I've got like a little bit of paint or something that has removed off of it. I don't really know what happened because I don't remember in the review I had an issue with Leo's head. Oh, nothing has rubbed against it. Oh no, that would be the worst case scenario. 
Maybe it's just coming off. Maybe I had something. Did I have something over here? Was I painting a wall? No, I don't think I was. Uh, but as you can see, though, like the facial expressions, this one's close to Leo. He has the one grimmest corner of his mouth. Leo has the two grimmest mouths, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. And uh, Donatello has none. He is the Goldilocks. He is the baby bear, I guess, that had none. Uh, so again, they all vary from one another. They're all slightly tweaked from one another. But again, I just love the molds on these. Molds, nothing is different here. I mean, I could talk to the same talking points as the Leo and the Donatello, but I know you guys, you guys want to see new information brought to you, the expected audience, the mob, if you will, on every single review. So we'll try to not talk about all the common things that we've already mentioned first and foremost. Things I could talk about are the fact that the front shell is a soft plastic. I may have actually left that off when we looked at the first two figures from this set. The sash from his belt is also made of a soft plastic, but everything else basically is made of a dense, dense plastic. Uh, I guess really his knee pads, his elbow pads, could be considered slightly softer plastic as well, but certainly not to the same soft level that the front shell and the sash is. Again, love the darker transitions of like shadow color, the dark forest green color, uh, compared to then the olive color that makes up the majority of his skin. Undersides, he's got peg holes. I know we already touched base on that. Um, again, like great, great looking molds on these figures. Very, as, as cartoon accurate as you could possibly get. Nakatoys just has really just pulled that from the TV and just vomited that in plastic form. Yes, I should get into marketing. For his posability, his head rotates all the way around. It hinges up and down and left to right. I know this is all stuff that we covered off before. His arms hinge out to about there, about 90 degrees from his torso and rotate all the way around. He has a swivel on the bicep, a hinge on the elbow, and uh, the arms also do rotate. The legs don't unfortunately do that because the arms are a single hinge. They're afforded the ability to be able to rotate all the way around and he also has rotation in the wrist. He has waist swivel. Unfortunately, that's about as much as you can get from it legs split out. Uh, you can move forward, you can move back, you can bend at the knee, single and double bend at the knee, which then uh, unfortunately sacrifices the swivel on the lower leg, uh, and then the feet rotate all the way around, hinge up and down, and you've got the ankle rocker back and forth. I try my best, I try oh so my best to not sound like a broken record with every single review, but again, I'm just flabbergasted, flabbergasted that we're getting ourselves cartoon turtle toys. Waited so long for that to actually happen. The time is now here. We just have to like let it sink in, relish in it. The air's sweet. Let's have a look at the accessories that come included with the foot soldier. Uh, the only one he does come included, it comes included with, is a uh, is a laser rifle. And the laser rifle looks really cool with all this additional black panel lining that they've filled in all the little creases, even like the spiraled part just before the end of the blaster is painted in there and done in the uh, the additional, uh, you know, the black panel lining there. Great, great coloring. The grays and the lighter kind of off-white gray colors make it, again, look very, yeah, yeah, you know. You know what I was going to say. I'm not going to say it because I just don't want to sound like I'm saying the same stuff over and over and over again. You could technically fit it in both of his hands. That is providing you swap out the defaulted closed fists that come with the figure when you get it out of packaging. He does also come with a pair of gripping hands and he also comes with a pair of karate chopping. Yaha! karate chopping hands if you want to go that route as well. But if you want to display him, likely this is going to be how I display him. Uh, you can, being that he does have double hinges in his elbows, he can actually support and hold the rifle in both of his hands, like so. And then you can angle the head accordingly. Now, if you have, oh, I don't know, one, two, twelve of these, you could put them all on display with Mr. Shredder, which is just right over here. I had him just tucked away, just ready to pounce. There he is right there. Now, one great thing, as I said, be in the previous, or the, it might have been the first review, NECA Toys is basically giving us a turtle and a corresponding villain, villain, if you will. Uh, the Leon, Leonardo and Donatello both came with Krang and Shredder, respectively. And then Michelangelo and Raphael are both coming with this same uh, foot soldier. So if this looks 
like, hey, we've already been there. We've done that. It's only because, no, you're not seeing double. Well, you are seeing double. Uh, NECA Toys will be including a foot soldier with both packs. And I'm okay with that. I'm really, really okay with that. The only downside, though, is something that NECA might want to also consider doing. I mean, look at me, like, throwing out all these suggestions to them. Uh, I would also consider, I mean, they've already got the mold anyways, release a foot soldier in two packs or single pack or two packs. It's whatever you would want to go with. But at the very least, make the foot soldier available. This is just my own personal opinion. You guys let me know if I'm anywhere close to reaching something of a consensus with the entire mob here. But I would probably smartly release this guy as a standalone or as a two pack. Guaranteed collectors are going to want to pick up another foot soldier. I mean, if they pick up both sets, they're going to get two of these guys anyways. But I probably would release foot soldiers in a single pack or a double pack on top of that. I would probably buy like 12 of these. No, no kidding. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take the rifle out of his hand. And we're going to have a look at the foot soldier. Foot, foot soldier marks the first time as a child that I actually went out to a store and bought a duplicate of a figure I already owned. True story. I went back and I bought a second foot soldier. I was even planning to go back and get a third foot soldier. And this was only really on paper, uh, paper delivery money that I had afforded the extra little funds here and there that I could go out and buy Turtles toys. But I did go out Oh, fully aware that I was going to be picking up a second foot soldier, and I did, I did just that. I'm kind of reliving myself, my my youth here, by being able to now have two foot soldiers yet again. For now, the foot soldier does look very close to how it does in the cartoon. I feel like the purple could have been maybe one shade darker. Here we go, talking about that one shade darker again. Primarily, like his tunic is in a black, and then of course the sash on the front is purple to go along with the top of the head here. The head is kind of an elongated egg shape, looks very much like it does from the cartoon. Even it has that slouch, that hunched over slouch um, that the, uh, the, the foot soldiers had in the show. Kind of like a hunchback kind of pose to them. Still got the panel lining that's been incorporated into the top section of its shoulder pads. And panel lining has been very generously added here to the face, as well as the front section here as well. The foot soldier branding, the little logo here, is actually raised from the mask, which is also a nice touch. Love the yellow that they've added to the eyes, just really pops against the purple. Again, I probably would have done one shade darker for the purple, but overall, everything else, there's nothing. I, I mean, this is too dark, but maybe one shade lighter than this is probably what I would have done for the entire color scheme of the foot soldier. It's got its arm guards there, uh, once again, also panel lined there. And uh, just a really great looking foot soldier. Looks exactly like I would want a foot soldier if it was taken from the cartoon. I kind of wish I still had the Playmates foot soldier. I would have certainly done a comparison between the two. But, I mean, it's easily to say that both Michelangelo and the foot soldier are much better representations than the stuff that we were getting from Playmates back in the day. For posability on the foot soldier, his head rotates all the way around. It hinges up and down. And it sort of rocks back and forth as well. This is all because it's got a ball joint and it also benefits the fact that the ball joint is sitting on an angle rather than going straight up. Uh, it does have uh, somewhat, of a, somewhat of a ball joint, although it does feel more like a, a swivel joint than it does anything else. The arms hinge outward. Uh, you can rotate the arms all the way around, all the way around, and you can swivel at the bicep, double hinge on the elbow once again, and you can also swivel the hands, whatever hands you decide to go with. He has a little split on the legs. This, by the way, is a soft plastic. The legs go out to about, to about there, uh, forward and back, swivel on the top cut of the thigh, double hinge on the knee, swivel on the boot, and a hinge back and forth. Loving again the foot soldier. Boy, oh boy, I feel like I'm a kid again. Not like I ever really left that village. But uh, it, these are definitely great additions if you're an existing Turtles fan or you're really just sort of kind of coming around to your senses and you're thinking to yourself, I'm in my mid-30s, I'm in my early 40s, I'm maybe even in my mid-40s, which luckily I'm not just yet. Uh, I do really want to go back and kind of relive my childhood. NECA really is doing that, reliving fans of the original Turtles uh, cartoon, finally in show accurate figures. And both these ones, as well as the other ones that we've looked at, are like spot on for what they look like from the cartoon. 
The only thing I would say is missing from these sets are display stands, which sadly NECA Toys didn't include with e any of the two packs, really. The display stands come in handy, though the turtles stand perfectly fine on their own, but if you want to get into a more creative pose, especially if you start making use of the foot soldiers, display stands can come in handy because there's always, of course, the problem with some of these figures sometimes toppling over if you get them off of their normal stance. So making use of a display stand that I have in my collection currently is probably what I'm going to end up doing. And then as I get more foot soldiers, <clears throat> I may actually try to get into a more dynamic way of displaying the four turtles. If I can get a whole handful of foot soldiers, <clears throat> I may probably just end up doing that. Just again, an idea to NECA toys if they haven't already considered it. They're very smart people over there after all. But I probably would suggest releasing the foot soldier just on its own. Uh, or just as an accessory pack, you give a foot soldier with maybe some damaged parts, and maybe some additional weapons. I mean, they already have the mold anyways. But I think myself, and probably speaking for other collectors there as well, I would be inclined to pick up multiple foot soldiers. I just don't want to really have to pick up another Michelangelo and another Raphael, or if I already have those figures. But if they could release the foot soldiers as army builders... I think you'll end up finding a lot of collectors are going to be going out trying to get excess numbers of foot soldiers so you can get various different poses and looks with the various four turtles. Just an FYI to NECA Toys. Speaking of picking these up, good news is if you guys are interested in grabbing these for yourself, they are readily available in retail stores. Again, I do think that they are target exclusives so if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself you may have to source out a target store in your area to see if you can find them but based on what i'm seeing from other people these ones are a much easier commodity to come across and find than unfortunately the movie turtles which up to this point are pretty scarce and the ones that you can find are usually going on ebay for a crazy amount of money thank you again to the scalpers who decide they want to buy every single thing so that the collectors themselves who actually would enjoy the toys can't pick them up for themselves. God bless you, scalpers. In the meantime, though, today we were having a look at set three. Even though I don't think these technically have set numbers, this was the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was Michelangelo versus the Foot Soldier from the folks over at NECA Toys. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reviews, there's playlists for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And there's also playlists for NECA toys, depending on what your fancy is. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below, as certainly more videos will be coming soon to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.